If you're a blogger or pretty much anyone else who relies on their computer to get work done on a day-to-day -day basis, then I have something to show you. This is a Bluetooth keyboard. It is from Targus. It is a, a, just a cheap $49 Bluetooth keyboard. It's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this right now. But that's really not the, uh, the premise of this video here. What I want to show you is how convenient it is to use Splashtop, which is a, a VNC client for the iPad, along with your Bluetooth keyboard in order to work remotely. And, and this, this setup works so well, folks. I just felt like I had to let everybody know how well this works. It's really, really awesome. And it is by far the best setup that I found when it comes to remote, um, or, you know, connecting remotely from um, your iPad to your desktop. Now this keyboard, the reason why I chose this is, well, it's black, it matches the iPad, the black iPad. And not only that, it's lighter than the Apple keyboard and it has dedicated keys for the iPad. The, these perform specific functions for the iPad. It just looks good with my black smart cover. It's lightweight, it, uh, it doesn't actually take away my normal keyboard. I like to keep my normal Mac keyboard at my desk at all times, so I don't have to actually take that with me. I could throw it in my glove box or whatever I want to do there. So if you have the smart cover with the iPad, that works out perfectly with this keyboard. And if you have splash top, you're gonna see how well this works. It, it's really, really awesome. I, I, I don't mean to overhype this, but I just had to share it with you guys because I really like this setup and I've been using it quite a bit lately and I found that it works perfectly for me. So this is the setup. It's, it's really simple. You have the keyboard, you have the iPad with the smart cover. You don't have to have a smart cover, of course, but I found that that works best. We're propping it up. You can view it uh, in a multitude of ways. There is splash top and just open that up here. And you can configure this very easily. And it actually will use your uh, Google account to log in so that you can log in remotely even over LTE. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. I'm over Wi-Fi right now. You saw how fast that loaded up. And what I really like about this app is that it just works. It works better than any other VNC app that I've used. It allows you to have a true full screen mode with the iPad. You can set the resolution, uh, kind of tone it down, tone down the resolution to work perfectly with the iPad. If you put, for instance, the, uh, the browser in full screen mode, you get a full screen browser. It looks like it was designed. The browser looks like it, it was actually created for the iPad. And this is actually Google Chrome that I'm running right here. And it just, it works so much better than, for instance, screens or something like that where the, the resolution is so much larger. So I can create a new post on IDB just like this. I can type, uh, I can prop up my iPad like this, and I can pull out on my Bluetooth keyboard and get to typing. All I do is enable the keyboard. And you can see I'm typing away right here. It's that simple, folks. And, and really, it works great. As you can see there, this is a test and I can type my title or whatever I want to do there. And it's just like being right there at my home desktop. And yes, folks, you heard right. It, going, it even works Jeff, with audio, even over LTE. I mean, it's amazing. Yep, just like that, folks. It works with audio. So if you rely on audio to get your work done, then this is going to be a perfect tweak for you. Here it is running on my Mac. Here it is running on my uh, iPad. There's my Mac again, my iPad again. <laughs> and the nice thing is it adjusts the resolution on the fly for you guys. So I'm going to turn off the uh, Wi-Fi and just so we can be on LTE. And now I'm going to load up Splashtop again. And this time it's going to take a little bit longer to load once it finds my connection. There is my connection. It found it because I am logged in to my Google account via the Splashtop streamer app that runs on the Mac. So now it is connecting to my computer. It takes a little longer since it's over LTE, which is ex expected, but it's not that long at all. So there you go, folks. There is my connection. And now let's load up Google Chrome. So I'm just gonna tap on the Google icon right there. There we go. All right, so now we can start watching our videos again or whatever else we need to do, write a blog post, whatever just like that. So let's tap that. But I don't low blog. Notice the calendar on my phone there. It is the 8th and that can only mean today is the day, the first official day that you can start. And scrolling is pretty much just as fast as it is over Wi-Fi. Not quite as fast, but still pretty pretty competent. The nice thing about this is if you use something like Text Expander, 
It's just like being at your desktop. You get all your text expander functionality that works like normal because it, you're basically at your desktop. It is called Splashtop, ladies and gentlemen. This coupled with a Bluetooth keyboard is a glorious solution for bloggers or anyone else that needs to do work remotely via the iPad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.